Okay, so this here is a test rig for these injectors. Now, these are the ones he bought that are used. We really don't know anything about them. So what we're going to do, sit here and test these, make sure that they're decent before we go putting them in the truck, because I'm just going to throw a used injector in. So you see, pump it up, pressure comes up, fires the injector. Now, there's two things that we want to check, though. We want to make sure that our pop-off pressure is between 3 and 3,500 PSI for a 12-valve injector, which it is. We're about 3,500 right there? Yeah. And then you also want to see what the spray pattern is. I don't know if... Yeah, we're going to try it and see what it does here. Okay. But you want to make sure your spray pattern stays in the right shape form that it's supposed to be. And you can look at the ends of the nozzles. I don't know if your camera can pick it up. They are in a odd shape. Because if you look at the way that these 12-valve injectors are, they're actually offset, and they are designed to be one way. So if, if you kind of look at the little holes in the nozzle, you can see how it's in an oval shape. Like, it's not straight, all the holes. It's like an ellipse, I guess, yeah. what it would be called. It doesn't really want to focus on the tip of the injector very well. So you want to make sure the spray pattern is spraying in the right fashion, but then you don't have any nozzles that are messed up. But it won't look... Like a perfect circle. Yeah. It's gonna I accidentally stopped the recording there. So let's go ahead and hit it. So you guys can see these bottom two here are more of a flat angle than these, which are shooting more out. Oh, fitting's leaking. Are you ready? Yep. Right, so, right pressure on pop off. That one seems to be spraying a lot better than the last one. Yeah. I don't like how the last one was spraying in a straight line downward. Yeah. It's got some orifices messed up in it. Hang on. Oh, I didn't know he had that still backed off. Yep. You have to leave the pressure on it. I'll be right back. So about 3,500 PSI. And we'll watch the spray pattern. Spray pattern looks decent. All right, so we're gonna go with the fifth one now. About thirty five hundred again. Pretty decent looking spray pattern too. All right, this is injector number six. Now almost closer to four thousand, but definitely over the thirty-five hundred below four. Spray pattern doesn't look bad either. I'm gonna go back and rerun the test on that first injector we did, and see how I still feel about it, because I might see by having the customer get some nozzles for it and see if that'll fix the problem. Put two wrenches on that. All right, we got number one back in there. And something I saw that I just thought was funny is you can see a dry spot where that was sitting from the mist of diesel that's been put out of this thing. That's popping off at 3,500. 
was worried it was a little low, but I really don't think I'm seeing much difference on this one than we were on the other. I don't really see anything that's going to stop us from wanting to run these in the truck. What do you think? Nah, I'd run them. Yeah. So, good news. It's getting the bigger injectors of the two sets we have here for it. So, this is a shorter video, I know, but a little bit different process that I'm sure a lot of you guys haven't seen before. Kind of specific piece of tooling. I mean, it has limited uses, but if you're doing stuff like this, you really need it. It's also really nice when you have a drivability concern or something like that. And just instead of saying it's got a bad injector, being able to show the customer your injector's messed up. Or in this case, we bought a set of used injectors. Or the customer bought a set of used injectors. We can show that, you know, they are good. We're not just throwing an unknown quantity in the truck because it sucked to get us all together and find out that one of these was junk. So, like I said, a little bit of a shorter video here, but stay, you know, following along in this project because the next video we'll be putting these injectors in that truck and uh, making some more progress again, that 12 valve ready to go make some power.